is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Good morning. It's now time for our cooking segment, and we're here with a new guest chef. We have Don Koppelman, correct? That's right. From Don's Couture Cakes. That's right. And you're going to show us how to make an Irish bomb cake in the light of St. Patrick's Day, which is next weekend. Right. It's coming up. Yeah. And um, it looks like a lot of work, but you say it's pretty easy to put it all together. If not, we're supposed to call you because you're the expert, That's right? That's right. If you can't <laughs> master this, you can call me and I'll make it for you. All right. But we're going to try to do it this morning. So yep. what do we need to do first? Well, first we're going to start with our chocolate cake batter, and it is infused with a whole bottle of Guinness beer. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're going to start with three cups of all-purpose flour Okay. in your stand mixer, or you can use a hand mixer. Okay. We have three cups of granulated sugar. Oh, wow. Lots of good sugar. Mm -hmm. And this is a cup and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. We have a tablespoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. So we're going to get that mixing. So that's all your dry ingredients. And this is a really easy chocolate cake batter to make. It only takes a few minutes. Okay. So while that's going, we're going to dump in one and a half cups of canola oil. You can use vegetable oil as well. All right. And here goes our bottle of Guinness <laughs> the beer. The secret ingredient, right? <laughs> so just slowly dump that in so that you don't get splashed with the Guinness. Okay. And you can start to smell that chocolate and Guinness flavor together. Oh, yeah. And it's frothing in the bowl here. So with people that don't um, like Guinness, because Guinness is such a, a stout beer, are you going to be able to taste that in this cake? Well, I think it's just the nostalgia that okay. the beer is in the batter. Okay. You can taste a little bit of that uh, malt kind of flavor okay. from the Guinness, but again, it's not very strong. Okay. But we just like to add it because it's St. <laughs> Patrick's Day. There and you go. <laughs> they they make Guinness. So. All right. And then so we're going to add one and a half cups of whole milk. And again, just add that slowly. And then you're going to bring it up to medium speed and beat it for. <laughs> I don't want anything on me. <laughs> I trust That's you. That's what I said, slowly, right? <laughs> so we're going to bring that up to medium speed and beat it for two minutes. Okay. And then you're going to add three eggs, and I'm just going to put this in, but okay. we're going to add three eggs and one and a half teaspoons of good vanilla. And then you're going to mix that again on medium speed for two minutes. And for all our viewers at home, I know that we're speeding through this. The good news is, is we do have a recipe with directions and times oh, yeah. and everything that we will yep. post on our website. So we're just kind of quickly moving just because of our time But you frame. saw how easy that yeah. was. And then you're going to distribute the batter evenly amongst two nine inch greased pans and you're going to bake that at 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes or until a toothpick is inserted and comes out clean. So what we have in here in the mixing bowl is enough for those two pans, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Well, that's yep. good. That's good to know. And it, it, it produces a really nice tall cake, so okay. it's not short. Okay. And we're going to switch bowls right away. Okay. That's all right. So what's our next step? Our so next that's step. that's in the oven, right? Yep. We're, we're mix, what are we mixing now? What are we making now? So now we're going to start with our filling and our frosting, which is a Bailey's Irish cream Ooh. buttercream. And in the middle, it's filled with chocolate chips. Yeah, so good. <laughs> so when you kind of bite into a piece, you'll get that surprise of um, bittersweet chocolate in there. Oh, that's nice. So we have three sticks of uh, unsalted softened butter. That's very important that your butter is not cold. Okay. And we're just going to pretend that we didn't hear the three sticks because a lot of people are probably thinking. I, I didn't say that uh, <laughs> I was a healthy baker, but <laughs> like Julia Child says, everything in moderation, right? That's right. right. What did we just add right so here? So we added two thirds cup of shortening, just a little okay. bit of shortening. So we're going to get that going and then you're going to slowly add in the Bailey's cream. We're going to show you how what we're doing here. And then we're going to slowly add in our Bailey's Irish cream. You will whip the butter in shortening for three minutes, but again, those directions are on the website. Okay. So slowly add in the Bailey's, and you can start to smell that sweet oh, yes. Irish cream. And, and then you're going to slowly add in a whole two-pound bag of powdered sugar. The whole know, bag? The whole bag. Oh, goodness. We'll just eat just one forkful, not <laughs> a whole piece. <laughs> right. Just a bite. All right, so when, when you get the full bag in your bowl, again, add that slowly so you don't get a big poof of powdered sugar in your face. 
Then you're going to whip the buttercream on uh, medium speed again for like three to four minutes. You want that to be really nice and fluffy. Okay. And then at the very end, you're going to add uh, about two to three tablespoons of light corn syrup and don't whip it after that. Okay. So that's that's the key secret right there. Don't that's right. whip it I after that. I just gave that. you my secret. Uh-oh. <laughs> So what do you what do we right. do with the chocolate chips? When do we add those? Later. Those will be in in the filling. Oh, okay. And, and we'll see it when we cut into okay. a piece. All right. So, do we want to show off our pieces right now, or do we want to wait until we come back from? Well, break? maybe we should come back. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. So in the meantime. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're live from Kelly's Furniture and Carpet One. And this morning we learned how to make an Irish bomb cake courtesy of Don Koppelman. Yes, that's right. With uh, Don Couture Cakes. And so we made our bases and everything like that. We baked it in the oven. So what's our next step? Our next step is to put the layers together. So okay. as you can see here, we have our layers cooled and I uh, slice them in half. Mm -hmm. So you can do that at home if you feel comfortable cutting your uh, layers in half, but you don't have to. Okay. But we like lots of layers in our cake. Mm -hmm. So, and in here I have that Bailey's Irish cream buttercream in a piping bag. Again, if you don't have a commercially or professional piping bag, you can just use a Ziploc bag yeah. too and, and just cut a, a corner of it. Okay. So we're gonna start piping our buttercream in here. And you wanna start at the outside and okay. just make big circles until you get into the inside. Can we get a close up? Ooh, look at that. And all of my cakes, my wedding cakes and everything are all made just in this fashion so that, you know, your guests at your wedding would get a nice beautiful piece of cake like this. Okay. And then here's the, and I'm the gonna chocolate have chips, right? You, Scott. I, I do the dirty You can put on today, one huh? glove. I'll I won't on make you put both on. All right, I appreciate <laughs> it. If I had a dollar for every day I had to put a plastic glove on at work, I just you kind I of have like one dollar now. There you go. I have it on backwards too. That's that's, that's right. right. That's how the professionals do. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to have you sprinkle some of these mini right. bittersweet chocolate right. chips on the. Okay. There you go. You watching the Soroka? Yes, I am. You seeing how a pro does it right now? <laughs> oh yeah. Drop with them the on the floor and everything. With a backwards right. glove on. That's yeah. right. Well, you're a big pro. You didn't know that's how we do it. Okay. Yeah. And so you're going to do this for each layer. And you're going to keep layer. going with the okay. layers. I missed a spot. Okay. There we go. There, there you go. Perfect. Right. Great job. So you're going to keep going with that. And then, of course, frost the whole cake in mm -hmm. the Bailey's Irish Cream Buttercream. And then you'll finish it with this dark chocolate ganache on the outside, Ooh. drizzled on the, on the outside of the cake. Okay. And that recipe you can find on the KTVO website, too. Yes. We'll go ahead and post that as well. Um, and so also, do you have to refrigerate this before you eat yes, it? Yes, all of my cakes are always refrigerated. Okay. As you can see, they are all made from scratch. Okay. So these ingredients, you know, can go bad if they sit at room temperature. All right, so we have less than 30 seconds to close right. the show. I know what it tastes like, so I'll let so. you guys taste right. it. Well, thank you so much for coming. And thank like Don you. said, we will post this on our website at heartlandconnection.com. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you right back here Monday morning at 5.30 a.m. That's delicious.